Good day, I am Irish May Lamina Musit and I will discuss about the Milky Way Galaxy, its spiral structure. So let's proceed to the learning objectives. By the end of this lesson, students will be able to describe the structure of the Milky Way Galaxy and how astronomers describe it and compare the theoretical models for the formation of spiral arms in these galaxies. So, let's go to the introduction. Astronomers were able to make tremendous progress in mapping the spiral structure of the Milky Way after the discovery of the 21-centimeter line that comes from a coal hydrogen. hydrogen rather. Remember that the obscuring effect of interstellar dust prevents us from seeing stars at large distance in a disk at a visible wavelength. However, radio waves of 21 cm wavelength pass right through the dust, enabling astronomers to detect hydrogen atoms throughout the galaxy. More recent surveys of the infrared em emission from stars in the disk have provided the similar dusk free perspective of our galaxy's stellar distribution. Despite all of this progress over the past 50 years, we are still just beginning to pin down the precise structure of our galaxy. Okay. The arms of the Milky Way Our radio observations of a disk gaseous component indicate that the galaxy has a two major spiral arms that emerge from the bar and several fainter arms and shorter spars. Okay. Um, so this is the Milky Way Galaxy Barn Arms as we see at the illustration. Uh, this image, a symbol from data from NASA's WISE mission, shows that the Milky Way Galaxy as a modest bar in its central regions. Okay, then um, the sun is near in the near inner edge of a short arm called the Orion Spar, okay, which is about 10,000 light years long and contains such conspicuous features as the Cygnus Rift or the Great Dark Nebula in the Summer Milky Way and the bright Orion Nebula. So, here in the figure 2, this is the Orion Spar, so as we can see here. Um, the sun is located in the Orion Spar, okay, which is a minor spiral arm located between two other arms. Okay, in this diagram, the white lines here point to some other north forty objects that share this feature of the Milky Way galaxy with the sun. Okay, let's proceed to the formation of spiral structure. Okay. At the sun's distance from its center, the galaxy does not rotate like a solid wall or a city inside your layer. Instead, the way individual object turns around the center of the galaxy is more like the solar system. Stars, as well as the clouds of gas and dust, it obeys Kepler's third law. Okay, objects further from the center take longer to complete an orbit around the galaxy and do closer to the center, okay? This effect is called the differential galactic rotation, okay? With the advent of the Hubble Space Telescope, it has become possible to observe the structure of very distant galaxies and to see what they were like shortly after they began to form more than 13 billion years ago, okay? Over the next few billion years, the galaxies began to settle down. The galaxies that were to become spiral lost their massive clumps, and develop a central batch. Okay. The scientists have used supercomputer calculations to model the formation and evolution of the arms. Okay. These calculations follow the motions of up to a million star particles to see whether gravitational forces can cause them to form spiral structure. Okay. And that's all. Thank you.